game. If you didn't pre-order the game, you probably won't see these. And we're going to start that. All right, we're ready to go. Now, here's the thing. I do not want to do this because that's just the tutorials and there's nothing different in it than, than 2015. I came in, I ordered the game, I got it uh, the other day, I got it yesterday, uh, early actually, I got it. I was having kind of a tough day working on uh, programs that weren't functioning correctly and several other things. So you start in the game, you start right here. Okay, so the first thing I did was I popped open the map and I looked at it and, you know, it looks interesting, but it didn't really show me too much. And I ran over and got in this truck and I thought, oh, look, we've got a farm truck and it looks all well used and everything. Let's, let's get in it. So I did. And I went inside and I looked around and I said, oh my God, a 10 year old with a Lego set could do a better job of modeling than this. What, what the hell is this? And I drove it around. I drove it around and I was kind of upset because I've been waiting for this game to come out for quite some time. And I started kind of looking around and I thought, well, geez, the first thing I saw was a crappy truck. I started looking around. None of the graphics are any better for me than 2015. They're not at all. And so I thought, oh, come on. What makes this, you know, what, what makes this new? So I thought, well, okay, well, the first thing I'll do is I'll drive around the map, which I did. And I spent about 30 minutes driving around the map, and I didn't see anything different than any other map that we see in 2015. And the, from the get-go, I was kind of disappointed because I didn't see anything jump right out and just demand my attention and say, oh my God, that's the neatest thing since sliced bread. I didn't see anything like that. And the problem was, I, I think in the back of my mind, I was so anxious for this game that I hyped myself out. And when it, when it didn't have anything that was extra supernatural, uh, different than any farming game that we've had so far, I, I was upset. I got, uh, I was so disappointed. And I recorded all of this. I recorded everything. And I was so depressed and upset that all I did was rip this game in half. I just tore it up. Because I thought they, they did absolutely nothing to improve this game. Nothing. And I went to my first tractor and I got in. And I looked at the, I looked at everything. There's nothing different. Everything's the same. I, I couldn't see anything different in the game. All the mods were the same. The map's in the same place. The controls are in the same place. The information with the, with the uh, tractor and speedometer's in the same. Nothing looks different. Nothing looked different. What did they do? That was, it w would make me think this is a, a newer, better game than 2015 and here's the issue about 90 percent of that was me i was tired i was frustrated i've been working with other programs that weren't working um i i i got the game i loaded it i thought well i'm i've got to make a video everybody else is making videos i gotta make a video and i got in here and i just ripped it up just ripped it up I took that video and put it up on YouTube and then I went to bed and it wasn't till I got up the next morning and I had time to think about it that I thought you know I didn't give that game a fair shake at all and I got a good night's rest and you know all that kind of stuff and I felt better and so here's what I decided I decided never to show that video it was terrible terrible video I mean, I was so disappointed with the game that that I, I was almost in tears by the time the, the 45 minutes was over uh, because I was so frustrated and upset with the game. Now, 
This morning, different situation. I had time to think about it. Why are the graphics not better for me? Well, the first thing I thought of, the graphics aren't better for me because I'm, I'm playing in 4K. My, uh, resol my rev resolution for my monitor and stuff is 38 something by 28, 26 something. It's, or 23 something. It's very, very high resolution. So there's no possible way they could make it look better for me than it does. And I thought about it and I talked to a buddy that said, you know, there's people with laptops out there that when they look at 2017, it's like the difference between night and day to them. Well, I didn't think about that. So the, the graphics are better and it runs better. In the time that I just kind of ran around uh, in the truck looking and bad mouthing the game, I didn't notice that I wasn't getting screen tearing like I get in 2015 and everything was working very smoothly. And so I decided to come in, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play the game. I don't know anything about it. I didn't watch any videos on purpose. I didn't want somebody else to show me what the game was all about because I wanted to experience it myself. So I, so I don't know anything about it and I decided the best thing I can do is to just play the game and have fun and discover what things there are that's different about this game than 2015 that I didn't notice because I was too busy shooting my mouth off about how bad a game it was. So last night, if you'd asked me, I'd have said this game's a 1 out of 10. Well, I've revised that. I'm up to at least 6 out of 10 just from having a better attitude and and looking at it from a different angle. A couple things you're gonna notice right away. One of them is that if you look at my controls up there, they're gonna look different than yours because I have a G27 wheel hooked up, which is another way that I went from, from one to six. They have, uh, they, they have the capability in the game to, to back up your G27 and give you the, uh, from the get-go, when you turn it on, it sees your G27 and it sets up controls. It, it has a support for G27. And any other thing you've got, if you use an Xbox One, if you, I have a, a Satek uh, throttle and, uh, and flight stick that I use for my space games, I've got a um, Oculus Rift that I use that's hooked up. My my Xbox One controller's hooked up. The problem was when I started the game, and it was another reason why I was upset, when I started the game, the game just went completely wild on me because it couldn't figure out which controller <laughs> to use because everything was hooked up. So what I had to do is I had to unhook everything and just leave the wheel hooked up. Came back in, it ran wonderful. It, it, it knew exactly what to do. So. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of mention some of the things that I didn't see when I was bad-mouthing the game that I see when I had a good night's sleep and it raises my opinion of 2017. The first thing, that's me. I'm going to hire somebody. Watch what happens. Turns into a different, a different guy. And that's not the half of it. Let's go to the next thing. All right, now look, look, look. I didn't, I didn't let you see that. Let's see. Let me, let me uh, lower that again. I'm gonna lower that. Now watch the graphics on the dirt when I raise that thing up. Isn't that cool? I thought that was a plow. That's a cultivator. So let me get up to the field here, and I'm gonna do the same thing. That's me in the tractor. I hire somebody. And it's a girl. Look, isn't that sweet? And in, and they and they're random, and they have random clothing. Clothing. If I hit it again, I'll get a different boy or girl in a different outfit. And I don't know how many there are, but it's kind of random. Now I do have a problem with it, and I'll tell you that in a minute. But look, look at the uh, graph, the uh, uh, activation here. What do they call that? 
Well, you know what I'm talking about. Look at the dirt flow. Isn't that cool? All right, let me go to the next thing. Now, this is the cedar. I'm going to get in it. Let me move up to the field. All right, I'm, I'm up to the field now. Again, there's me. I'm going to hire somebody. Boom. There you go. It's a person. Now, here's my grief with this. And it's not grief. It's constructive criticism and a wish list. Watch when I go from person to person. Okay, there's, there's my first person. Helper A. Helper A. Helper. Am I Santa Claus and that's an elf? My little Christmas helper? That's a hired hand. Why couldn't they? And they're distinguishing between the two. See, there's helper H. There's helper C. Why couldn't they have least called them a hired hand? And, and if they have the capability of giving you a random avatar and naming them, they've named them. There's helper A. Why couldn't they have said, this is Sally, uh, Sally A, um, Fred H, you know, Gary C. Why couldn't they have named them? That would be so cool. And from what I can see, there's no reason why they couldn't. The avatar, the avatar is is uh, random, and they're they're able to make the name random because they're saying one's H, one's A, one's something else. They have the capability of doing it. Constructive criticism is something for um, a patch or an update or something that would make the game funner to me. It'd make it a lot more fun. So anyway. Little things like that. This is not, like I said, this is not nasty criticism at this point. This is constructive criticism and something I think they could easily do to improve the game. I like what they've done. I like that. I like that you get random people that you can hire. That's cool. Now, here's something else you're going to notice. See this guy here? He's seeding. Okay, your HUD tells you he's got 239 liters of fuel. 700 of uh, seeds and 500 of, uh, of fertilizer. Let me go in and do something that I didn't do that I wanted to do right away. Okay, I want to go in here. And I've not looked at any of this. I looked at the map a little bit, and uh, but I haven't read any of this. I haven't read anything. I, haven't, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Haven't looked at anything. What I did do, look at is this, the general settings. What I'm going to do to try to have fun with this game and you know to to treat it like it's a new game which it is is to try to play it the way the the game developers wanted me to play it so the only thing i'm going to change in the settings are those things that i don't that i can't play with with or without one of them is i'm american i want to see dollars i want to see miles because i don't know what a kilometer is i don't know what a euro is um interactive zone markers i'm going to leave that it, it, so that puts the markings on your cell points and stuff. Puts the little red and, or yellow and black thing around that. Um, these things, I'm leaving them alone. They don't do anything for me. I'm not colorblind. The radio's off because I would get, um, if I'm recording, I'm going to get copyright issues. So I'm leaving the radio off. I don't need it. Um, you can set the radio for to be in the vehicle only. You can make some changes there. I'm leaving all of these things alone. The switch to trains just means that when I flip from, from one tractor to another, it includes the two trains. No big deal. I turned the sound down a little bit because uh, I thought it was a little bit loud for me to be talking over. Okay, so I changed those settings. I also want to set this. I'm going to change this to Rude Man's Game. Rude Man 1, in case I have another game. I'm leaving the time scale at 5. Traffic I'm leaving on. I usually don't. But again, I'm going to try to experience this game like the developers wanted me to. I'm leaving the dirt at normal. Uh, I don't see any reason to change it. It's just, just leave it that way. I do want to be able to start my own vehicles. And so I'm... I'm uh... All right, what's going on? It won't let me change. Oh, because I didn't... Never mind. There. Now. Um, I want to turn that off. I want to start my own engine. 
the stop and go brake is just something they've added. And I'll give you I'll give you an example of what that means. When I'm using my wheel, I have a, an accelerator and a brake pedal. If I hit the accelerator, I go forward. If I hit the brake pedal, it stops me and then makes me drive backward. So um, what this does is if I'm going forward and I let off on the accelerator and I hit the brake, it stops the vehicle. I have to let up on the brake and hit it again to go backwards. No big deal, but it's just some little extra thing that they've done. Now, all of this stuff I'm leaving uh, alone. You can change the fuel usage so you can use more or less fuel. Um, the helper stuff, all this helper stuff, I'm going to call these guys hamburger helpers. All these guys, these are set that if you notice, when we looked at the seater, he's seating, but the fuel's not going any lower out of the tank. The seeds are not decreasing. The fertilizer is not decreasing. So because the way it's set up here, the, the helper is paying for that stuff so that the tank can, it stays clear full. When you pay the man his wages or the, the worker his wages, you're also paying for the seed, fuel, and fertilizer that he used on the field. You can change that, but I'm leaving it because, like I said, I'm trying to leave everything default as much as I can. Plant growth, I'm leaving it normal. Plant withering, definitely, I'm turning that off. Uh, periodic plant uh, plowing. In this game, if you want better yields, then every once in a while you have to plow your field. In real life, you have to do that. So, because you, you have to take care of the soil. You can't continue to take stuff out of the soil and not put something back in and not give it oxygen and that kind of stuff. So, uh, every, you know, you rotate your crops, uh, you plow the fields. That's what you do. And, and now in this game, they're putting that as a periodic time. I'm, I don't know whether it's going to tell you when it's time to plow or not. I may end up eventually plowing every time. We'll see. The same thing goes with the fertilizer. If you want better yields, you have to fertilize three times before the crop is ready to harvest. You can change that to just one time like the old game where you just seed, fertilize all at the same time and you're done. Or you can leave it at three. Again, I'm leaving it at the default settings. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to play it from here. We do have some new crops. We've got, um, of course, the wheat, barley, canola, sunflower, soybeans, corn, Oil seed radish, potatoes, sugar beets, and poplars. Now, the poplars are a tree. We have the, a lot of those around here. They'll, they'll plant these things like it's a crop. They're real close together, and they grow really fast. So you don't have to wait 50 years for a tree to grow before you harvest it. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not doing forestry, so I probably don't care about that. But it's kind of nice to have. Yes, we had these in mods. I know that. So, But it's kind of nice that they added it to the game. So there you go. Um, that's about it for that. Let me get back out of there. Now, did you notice while I was in that that the, that the game still ran? I don't know if you noticed that. In Farming Simulator 17, it does not. It doesn't. So, uh, so when you're in here, you'll notice that there is a pause button. I saw it. There's a pause button right there that you can pause the game if you want to spend a lot of time in here and you're worried about stuff happening outside. All right, so there you go. That's that's so much for that. Let's get this guy going. Now that I, I have to start my own rig. Um, why is the combine stopped? Did I do that? What What happened? I don't know if I did that or not. Okay, we're gonna hire a hamburger helper. Now, wait a minute. Listen to the gravel crunch. That doesn't look like gravel to me, but you can hear it crunching. It sounds like it's driving over chicken bones to me, but nevertheless, they made the effort. Okay, so let's do this. Let's um, hire this guy again. I don't know what happened. All right, let me get my tractor here. I'm gonna run over. I'm gonna run over to the silo. And 
brings me to the second sticking point that I had with the game when somebody told me, oh, guess what? You'll be able to drive a train. I said, oh, are you kidding me? You mean like the little train in the kitty park that you run around in a circle and just go woot, woot, woot? Are you kidding? I said, if I wanted a train simulator, I'd play the one I've got. Well, again, I didn't, I didn't really go in and check out and see what it was all about. But... Let's go look at it. I thought to myself, I mean, it, it's kind of like when um, 2015 came out and there was logging in it. And I said, you're kidding me. You spent so much time on the logging that you could have spent on, on really making it a good farming game. If I wanted a logging game, I'd go buy a logging simulator. That's just my, my little opinion there. But um, I, I never have done the logging much. I just don't care for it. I, it's a farming simulator. That's why I bought it. So then, when they said there were trains in it, and I said, "Oh, here we go again. We're gonna be a, we're gonna be a train simulator." Well, that's not the case. I just didn't give it a chance. So, yeah, you can hear that snap, crackle, pop of the gravel. So I'm heading to the depot. Let's take a look at the map. If we look at the map, you can see the real fine lines of the train line. There's two runs. There's one right in the middle of the map that goes around in a big circle. And then there's one in the west, the middle of the west side of the map that goes around in a circle. And there's a depot right in front of me. So here's what might be kind of interesting is to bring your crop and store it at the train depot. Because look, there's a silo here. If you don't want to leave it here, you can take it back out. But if you store your stuff here, there's a couple places that these trains go to that you can deliver crops to in, in, in bulk. So that might be kind of handy if you if you store your stuff here instead of taking a, a tractor and trailer and running to the cell point a million times. If we store some, now I don't know if this is how it's going to work, but this is just what I'm thinking of trying. And store my stuff here, and then let me get out of my tractor because I think I saw something yellow in here. Is that a gold coin? Do they have gold coins again? What's that? Oh, it's a nugget. Oh, so now we're miners now. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. We got nuggets instead of coins. Which is sillier than dropping coins everywhere. Who in the hell walks around dropping coins? Uh, gold coins. Okay, so now, here's the thing. Let me run over to... Now that we've got some crop in here. We have two trains. This one runs in the center of the map in a big circle. And this one runs to the west. Now, if we look at our cell points and and see what the the price is for uh, wheat, we'll we'll see that uh, let's see, six ninety eight is a pretty good price at the Maple Mill, Maplefield Mill, and it's the best price. So that means that I can drive this train over to the mill and sell it if if uh, if I want to sell my wheat. Too bad it doesn't. Now, I've got some ideas about this, and, and they're, again, they're constructive criticism. It's not, uh, you know, I'm trying to be positive, and it's things that they I think they could easily change, or maybe a modder could fix. So let me start the train. Now, if you look at the train on the other track, you'll see there's cars, there's two, two cars for uh, lumber, and I don't know what the one in the middle is for sure. Maybe wood chips, I don't know. The third one has wheat sign on it, which means that's a grain uh, car. And then the, the last one uh, has uh, uh, root fruit or ground fruit, earth fruits. So the beets and your, and your uh, potatoes. So we're gonna move this thing forward a little bit. And I'm gonna get that grain I just put in there. Now watch that car that holds grain, you'll know you're getting close because the top of it opens up. All right, it's opened up. 
I'll kind of wait till it gets underneath that spout, and then um, we're gonna we're gonna go in there and grab that wheat. Now that's not very much. That was only five percent of that car, but I think you can probably hold quite a bit there. So I'm gonna just gonna drive this train around, and as you drive around, you'll see there's little stations here. Now, here's my gripe. Well, it's not a gripe. It's constructive criticism or uh, a wish list, if you will. Wouldn't it be nice if on this route you could stop and, and do things at these little stations? And I'll tell you in a minute my thought when we get around the other side here and, and what my thinking is. Okay, we're going to come up to the mill here. And I see you could stop here and maybe pick up pastures. I don't know. I don't know why you'd want to do that unless they paid you. All right, now here's another one. Here's another one. Is this a cell point? This is a cell point. And the funny thing is this isn't listed on the map that I can tell. Let's see. Um, well, it's on the map, but it doesn't. it isn't listed. So I don't know what this is. And I don't know what they sell, but so so you can. And I noticed that there is also um, a silo on the other side where you can take the stuff, or you know, dump it in here. Okay, so let's go on. So you can stop there. There's water. I don't know why you'd need water. This isn't a steam engine. It's a diesel engine. It's kind of cool too. Look at that. This must go to Hogwarts. See, there's a lightning bolt on there like, like Harry Potter's forehead. We're going to Hogwarts. Put on your Sunday best, kids. We're going to be wizard watching. Okay, so now we're at the mill. And I'm going to sell this. So again, I'll kind of pull forward until I see the top of that, that grain car open. And then make sure I'm on, there we go. Okay, I'm on it now. This thing does not stop on the dime. You gotta be careful. All right, let's 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 sell this stuff. Uh, am I not on the trigger? There it is. I wasn't on it. Okay. So we're gonna uh, unload. And we made um, $3,500. Okay, now here's my thought as we're coming around. Let's look at the map, see where we're at. Okay, we're coming up. We're going north. There's another little station ahead here. And there's a sawmill. So here's another little station, but you can't do anything here. All right. Okay, here's the sawmill. And you can function here. There's stuff to do here if you have logs and stuff. So you can do stuff here. Okay, but here's my thought. If you look at the map in the in the great northwest, you'll see a place called Wright Agribusiness. When I was driving around, I noticed that that Wright Agribusiness had really good price on crops. And the only way to get there is to drive all the way up there. So here's my thought, giant or some modder. Wouldn't it be nice if there's a station up here, and there is, there's a, a station, right, we just passed it, let me, let me go back, there's a station there right beneath field number six. Wouldn't it be nice if they put a grain spout there and a dump site so that if, if I took the train here and and dumped my bulk uh, fruit if there was a way for me to get a tractor and trailer back here and pick up that stuff so the train drops my my fruit at this little depot and then there's a spot in the back of the depot where I can drive my truck and trailer and grab that stuff and and run it up the hill to this right agribusiness I wouldn't have to drive all the way from my farm 
up to right agribusiness to sell and back, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I could move it in bulk using the train and then just pick it up from here and run it up there. Just a thought, just a thought. I think that would be kind of a cool thing. Um, so, so I was a little disappointed in the train only in the fact that it does have some functionality, but not very much because there's only two places to sell. Well, the other track has a place to sell too, but I think there's only one place that the train can sell on the other route. Just remember when you get this thing going 90 miles an hour, it don't stop on a dime. It takes about half the, the length around this track to stop it. But anyway, I'm a little less disappointed than I was because there is some functionality to the train. It isn't just for looks or to play the, you know, blow the horn. So let me grab my, this guy's waiting to be unloaded. Let's run back up. So anyway, just, just a couple of thoughts that I think would improve the game. Another thing that freaked me out is uh, I noticed that the flag was up on my mailbox and I walked over to the mailbox and a little hand showed up. I don't know if you notice when you get out of the rig, there's a little uh, round reticle in your middle of your screen. I guess that's the point where you're looking and you can point at things and you can actually pick things up in this game now. The only... I don't know what makes that handy unless I know that if you're logging and you cut a log up, if it's not too big, you can actually pick it up and move it around. I guess that might be kind of handy. Other than that, I don't know what you do. I went to the mailbox and I thought, oh, look, I can open the mailbox and see if I have any mail. No. Oh, watch this, watch this, watch this. When I run over the windrow, watch. It's like, look at that. Oh, there's physics. All right. Gotta love it. I missed my fluffy, fluffy windrow, though. Anyway, I went to uh, see if I had any mail. I ripped the mailbox completely out of the ground, and it, and it flew clear across the road. Well, what is the point of that? <laughs> it didn't make any sense to me. What, why would it do that? Just for fun, I guess. Let me go to my truck and get out. I'll show you what I'm talking about. See that little reticle? That's what you're pointing at. Okay, so you can move stuff. Look. A little hand appears. You hit the E key. Uh, no, the mouse key. And you can move stuff around. Why? I don't know. <laughs> it does, it does, don't, don't mess with your mailbox. So the only good thing about the mailbox, if you rip it up, the next time you load your game, it's back. So you'll be okay. Because I've been driving around running over all kinds of signs and stuff. And then when I come back in, they're all back up. You see, you got a wheelbarrow here. Well, let's pick it up and move it around. Why? I don't know. Why? Oh, crap. Look what I did. Now I've done it. How do I fix it? Not like that. Oh, shoot. Oh, well. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. All right, she's almost done. Good girl. My question on this, not with her, with him in the fertilizer. How do you know when you should fertilize again? Uh, is there going to be something in the game that pops up and says, hey, you need to fertilize again before you harvest? Same thing with the plowing. Is there something that's going to pop up? Now, I'm asking these questions. I don't really want to know because eventually I'm going to find out. And that's what I mean. I started off thinking it was a, a crap game and that we got screwed because I was in a bad mood and was expecting, I don't know what I was expecting out of it. So I'm trying to change my attitude and just have fun. I play games because they're fun. I don't think this game is not going to be fun. I think it is going to be fun, and it may not have been what I was. I don't. I wasn't. I don't know what I was expecting, 
So I'm trying to change my attitude about it. And one of the things that way I'm going to do that is to to learn things on my own because that I because I enjoy that. And that's why I haven't watched anybody else's videos. I don't want to know. If I really, really, really get stuck, I'll either ask for help or, you know, I'll go out and find a video of my own that helps me. Generally, I can figure things out. I'm not stupid. I just act that way on YouTube. Uh, and look, if you guys want to send comments to me, I that's fine. I don't mind. I, as a matter of fact, I love that. I, I like when you send me comments. I really do. And I try to answer everyone. And if you want to try to help me with stuff, that's fine. I'm not saying that, you know, I don't want you to, um, to, to tell me anything or I don't want you not commenting to me because I want to learn on my own. As it turns out, most of the time, by the time you see the video, I've already figured out any problem I'm having. So, um, you know, so I don't. It's not that. Uh, comment all you want. I love it when you comment. So there you go. As long as you're not, you know, cussing me out or something. I mean, who likes that, really? Oh, yeah, send me nasty comments. I just love them. <laughs> yeah, not. All right, I'm going to continue putting stuff in this silo for now. But eventually, I'll move it over to the train depot. I just don't want to take the time right now. I got to get used to all these new buttons now with my... You know with my wheel and I still have some buttons that I want to set because there's certain things that I had set up on 2015 that aren't that aren't the same on this one my menus and things like that helper hamburger helper H has completed his task all right which one was he see if if they said it was Ruby I'd know who it is nope it's it I don't know who it is it's just it's me right now, I guess. Okay, I'm going to have to borrow some money to get uh, a way to pick up the windrow because I don't have I don't have a uh, forage wagon. So, I'm going to have to borrow money for that. I should probably I should probably be doing that prob probably be doing that because I need to seed that field over there. I need to cultivate that field. And I want the I want the straw I was thinking about leasing a rig, but the problem with that is the straw's not that valuable. It costs more to lease the rig than it does to, you know, than the, than the straw's worth. So if we if we look at that, I, I haven't even looked at all the equipment. I have no idea what we can get. Uh, I haven't looked at any of this stuff, so I have no idea. There are mods in the game. If you know, Giant had mods on their webpage, and what they've done with with 17 they've integrated it into the game I'll show you Whew. Um, all right so if we go to mods these are the, and they're calling it the mod hub uh, these are the mods that you used to be able to get and you probably still can off the giant website and there's 18 latest ones and they're also the best ones and they're also the most downloaded imagine that I haven't really looked at any of these except for uh, I did look at uh, harvesters to see what they had in the harvesters and the only one I was interested in right away was this crone they've got the crone big X 1100 pack uh, I might want the fan too but I'm trying not to do a bunch of mods not yet I want to play the game as it is before I start downloading a ton of mods uh, and that's the way it is and I'm also thinking about getting this for the Xbox. I have an Xbox One, and I, and I might get it for that and play with that so that uh, as Xbox is modding, I can talk about the uh, console mods. I don't know anything about console mods. I don't play consoles. I have every console they ever have made, but uh, I don't play them. I, I don't know why. I just don't. All right, let's go back in. So that's kind of cool that they integrated, uh, you know, a way to get mods. And hopefully the mods, because I'll tell you why. Getting mods, I hate to go to some of these mod pages where uh, you try to download a mod and you get 15 pages pop up 
of, of naked girls dancing in front of your face when you've got your kids in a room with you uh, and and some computer voice going wah, wah, wah. we will have a virus don't close this window if you do we will shut your computer down I just want to download a dang mod so it would be nice if some of the better mods would go onto the giant page and you could get them right from the game and not have to worry about picking up a virus or, or naked pigs dancing across your screen. Anyway, that's just my little rant. One of many. Okay, so uh, let me start this guy up and see who I'm going to get. Oh, okay. That's, that's, that's elf number 10. Who'd we get in the combine this time? Elf number three. Oh man, look at that hairdo. He looks a little weird. He's got his he's got his pants rolled up clear to his knees. Okay, can't I guess I don't pay him enough to buy a pair of shorts. Alright. Alright, let's um let's go to the we're gonna have to go to the bank. Let's um jump in our pick em, pick em up truck. And let's run. I hate this thing. There is a better truck, I think. I saw it on the road. So I think there's a better truck than this out there. This mo The modeling on this truck is just god-awful. I looked at that and I said, Oh my god, if that's the best they can do, what's the rest of the game like? It just set me off. And I apologize. I swear, I hope nobody ever sees that video. That I was just awful in that video. Just awful. I really felt bad. I know, I talked to a couple of my buddies about it, and, you know, they they, they were of the opinion that, you know, hey, you, you have your opinion. You, you can like or not like the game. And, and I tried to tell them, I said, but it's not that. It's not that. It, it was more than just my opinion. It was, an, it was an uneducated opinion. You know, I hadn't even played the game yet. All I did, in that whole 45 minutes or 40 minutes that I recorded, 30 or 35 minutes was just driving around bitching, you know, about things I perceived the game was, right? There's got to be a bank of some kind around here. Oh, look, there's a big ball of twine. I wonder if there's a bank down there. Let's go take a look. I know there was a mall someplace that had a bank in it, but there should be... There should be a... Uh, what is that? Oh, that, that's a spinnery. That's a spinnery where you can sell your wool. But there's got to be a, a, a ATM machine around here somewhere. We'll find it. Anyway, anyway, I just, I, just, I, I did such a bad job on that uh, video that I embarrassed myself. Nobody's seen it, just me. But I'm still embarrassed over it. All right, is that a bank over there? Look out. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, there's a mod in here. Oh, look out. Look out. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, no, I made it. Oh, here we go. Is that a bank machine? There's a bank machine. All right. I'm going to borrow some money. I think I need about 31000 for a forage wagon. Uh, so let's let's see about that. We're going to borrow. Okay, we already owe nine. No, that's my balance. What's my loan? My loan is seventy-five thousand. Why is there two on here? Oh well, not gonna worry about it. Why is the money in euros when I told it to be in dollars? Five thousand euros there. I'm gonna borrow this. I'm gonna borrow. All right, that's enough. Okay, so let's get out of here. We're gonna buy. Um, a forage wagon. So let's see here. Where did I see those? Auger. There. For they call it a loading wagon. Um, call it whatever you want. I'm gonna get the cheap one because it's thirty-one thousand. There's no way I can't afford these. I'm gonna just get this cheap one here for now. Here's something interesting that I did notice. I didn't look a lot in here. But I did go in and see what kind of combines they had because that interests me. But let's just go to a tractor, though. 
Okay, so we're looking at a tractor, and this is cool. This is cool. We're going to select that. Okay, now we can buy that tractor for 82000 or we can lease it for 9020 That's still pretty damn high, 9020 So I won't be willy-nilly leasing anything. But here's the interesting part. We can attach a front loader. We can do options and upgrades to this tractor. Uh, we can put a front loader on there. We can do, we can work on the engine. We can change the color. You can choose wheels. You can choose narrow tires or wide tires. Um, you can do a standard design or set it up for forestry. Uh, so there's some options we can do. That's that's pretty cool. But let's get back to the forage wagon. And I didn't buy it yet, did I? I don't think so. No, that's a tipper. Quit it. Quit. Quit it. There, loading wagon. Okay, I'm going to get that. Uh, select that, and we're going to buy that. And I'll pick up my straw so I can so I can cultivate that field. All right, and I'm going to call it an episode here. When we come back, we'll finish up the, all that junk we're doing. There's my, there's my wagon over there. i got to run back and get it. I don't think I can pull it with this. I'm going to have to go back and get a tractor. I'll try. Let me see if I can hook up to it. I don't think I can. This truck can barely pull itself. There's a ball on the end, but I don't know if it works. Oh, my God, it does. Oh, I can't believe it. That's cool. All right, let's run home. I'm going to run home with this. It's Christmas. Look what I bought, Grandma. I bought myself a tractor and a trailer. Yeah, the, the uh, town zombies still look the same. Anyway, I'm just mouthing off. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. Hope you had fun. Uh, don't hate me because I was angry. Um, it was it was just a silly thing. I You know, I could have... What the hell did I just hit? There's nothing there. That was weird. Um... You know, I could have went. I could have went and never said a word. You'd never know anything about it. I could have just said, uh, "Yeah, hey, this is a great game." Oh, look, it's too low. That's what it is. Um, I could have done that, but I still feel bad. And this is my penance uh, for being such a jerk: is to let you know how big a jerk I really was. And uh, am I gonna be a hundred percent happy with this game? Hell no. There's still things I don't like about it, or I'm upset that they didn't do, or. You know, that they didn't put the effort in or something. But then, again, that's my prerogative. But I'm going to try to be positive on it. Hope you liked it. Give me a like if you did. Share it with a friend. Sign up for my uh, YouTube page if you haven't. And I'll see you on the farm. Well, I don't know which one. I still think I'm going to play 2015. And I may even drag 2013 out once in a while. But uh, at any rate, I'll see you on some farm in the next episode. Happy farming.